Well, yes, I, this is a really um, uh, powerful meeting that the Prime Minister and I held to discuss what we think the risks and opportunities might be of AI. Now, I think people um, have been able to follow this debate somewhat already. Of course, for example, Sam, Sam Altman has been having this debate in other countries too. And we wanted to make sure that the UK can rightly play the leadership role that is available to us here and that will help us in the end have the benefits of AI in terms of huge, huge range of opportunities and we hope uh, many, many new jobs and, and, and types, of, uh, types of opportunity for people, but also to ensure that we get the right protections in place. And that's why in our AI white paper, we set out that we're looking for the safe and responsible development of AI. We set out the principles that can govern that. And it's from there that we will go forward to, uh, again, making the UK a global leader, because don't forget, we are in the top three in the world of AI. We intend to make the benefit, get the benefits of that for, for Britain. But, but what is the strategy? You look at, you look at the US, uh, you look at China. What they've done successfully is not only be able to research AI, but also come up with commercial application of that, particularly in the US. You've seen that with something like ChatGBT, which has taken the world by storm very shortly after Google has barred, it, barred AI. The UK is very good, of course, at research from top universities when it comes to AI. But it's not really churned out a multi-billion dollar company you know, focused on, on, on AI. So what is the strategy? I, th I think you're missing the fact that Demis Hassabis was a key part of last it's night's meeting. It's true, that's now an American and, company, uh, <laughs> American-owned company. And built on the success of DeepMind and many more is uh, the UK's leadership uh, position. But the, the, the point is this, this is going to be a global challenge. And there will be the need to collaborate globally about that. And the UK, because of that progress and that prowess that we already have, will play uh, a leading role in that. And that's what the Prime Minister and I were discussing uh, this week. But I'd also just say this. Our strategy, as set out in our white paper, is that we want to be pro-innovation. We want to be able to reap those benefits for uh, Britain in terms of uh, jobs, in terms of opportunities that we haven't even yet dreamt of. But to do that, we need to be able to, to see this technology develop in a safe and responsible way. And what does that look like from the regulatory point of view? I know there's the AI white paper out at the moment. What's the government's current thinking when it comes to um, what regulation looks like? Does there need to be a new regulatory body set up? Will there be a specific AI law? What's the current thinking right now? Well, we've set out very clearly that we think uh, that we should deal with this first in terms of regulation before reaching for legislation. And that's, uh, for example, a, a different approach to uh, the EU or, 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 um, or approaches that you might see uh, around the world. But we think this is the right approach because it is flexible and adaptable. And for such a very fast-moving technology, that's going to serve us best.